Hello everyone, hope all of you are fine. We are here to deliver the lectures to the platform of Pharmacology Notes and today's lecture is delivered by a registered pharmacist, Homera Shaheen. So let's start topic. Today we are going to study about neurotransmitters. Yes, in the pharmacology, at multiple sites we will study about neurotransmitters, its actions. So we must know that what are those neurotransmitters and what are the type of neurotransmitters. So before going forward, let's have a look in the outline that what we are going to do today. We will learn about neurotransmitter, neuro transmitter then types of neurotransmitters whether these are fast acting and slow acting neurotransmitters right and the effect of neurotransmitter on specific tissues. So we will study about the effect of neurotransmitter. Effects of neurotransmitters. Do you know what is a neurotransmitter as its name indicates? Yes, neurotransmitter means something to transmit between neurons if neurons want to communicate if neurons want to send signal to the next neuron so how this transmission will occur this will occur through a chemical that is termed as neurotransmitter all the neurons which are present in the body they are distinct anatomical units they are not having any structural continuity with them. If there is one neuron ending and the second neuron present, they are separate entities. They are separate anatomical entities. No structural continuity exists. You can have a look. There is no structural continuity. There, there exists a gap between them. So the communication between nerve cell to nerve cell if a one nerve cell wants to communicate with the next nerve cell or if nerve cell wants to communicate with effector cells, yes, nerve cell to nerve cell communication or nerve cell to effector communication. These are effectors. This is a nerve cell. This one is also a nerve cell. Nerve cell to nerve cell or nerve cell to effector communication occurs through the release of specific chemical signals. There is always a release of specific chemical signals between these structures as well as specific chemicals released from these sites and these specific chemicals are termed as neurotransmitters. So in simple words we can say any other chemical which is used for transmission of signals from one neuron to another or transmission of message from one to another that is termed as neurotransmitter. Is it clear? Then a neurotransmitter has released from presynaptic neurons with action potential reaches. There are present neurotransmitters are synthesized, stored in the nerve cell, and it's not released until and unless action potential reaches there. Until and unless action potential reaches. From precursor, a neurotransmitter is sorry, a neurotransmitter is synthesized. This neurotransmitter is stored in a vesicle, and it will wait like this. There are multiple vesicles which are containing 
neurotransmitter in it and these are just waiting for action potential to come as soon as the action potential will come across this nerve cells and cause depolarization then it will lead to the release of this neurotransmitter in the synaptic limbs cleft and this chemical will act further on the next nerve cell clear now neurotransmitter is any of this uh, chemical which is used to transmit the signals or used to communicate or transmit be between nerve cell to nerve cell or nerve cell to effective cells are termed as neurotransmitters did you know that more than 50 chemicals have been identified in our body which are termed as neurotransmitters but few among them these are important therapeutically and we will study in the pharmacology again and again so what are the types types of neurotransmitters neurotransmitters are of multiple types but mainly these are epinephrine norepinephrine acetylcholine yes epinephrine norepinephrine and acetylcholine dopamine serotonin dopamine serotonin histamine and gamma amino butyric acid gamma amino butyric acid yes there are multiple types of neurotransmitters epinephrine norepinephrine acetylcholine dopamine serotonin histamine and gamma amino butyric acid among these neurotransmitters some are fast acting neurotransmitters while others are slow acting neurotransmitters yes all those neurotransmitters which are acting very fastly like glutamate or gamma amino butyric acid although it is an inhibitory neurotransmitter but still it acts on its side very rapidly it shows its action very rapidly so it is termed as fast acting neurotransmitters while though all other which neurotransmitters work slowly as compared to fast acting neurotransmitters gamma amino butyric acid or glutamate these are the neurotransmitters which act on their sites in one million seconds by the virtue of ligand gated ion channels then these are termed as fast acting neurotransmitters while all those which act on their receptors or they work through the eye and through uh, transmitters but they, they work but slowly as compared to the fast one so they are termed as slow acting neurotransmitters then among these new their neurotransmitters we will come across a term that is termed as classical neurotransmitter classical neurotransmitters as I said that there are multiple neurotransmitters but few neurotransmitters are those which are therapeutically important. So all those neurotransmitters which are typically required between nerve cell to nerve cell and nerve cell to factor cell are termed as classical neurotransmitters. The, uh, among these are adrenaline and noradrenaline. We will consider adrenaline and noradrenaline together because they are closely related adrenaline noradrenaline acetylcholine yes these are neurotransmitters in the case of sympathetic nervous system and this one is mainly in the case of parasympathetic nervous system then dopamine glutamate and gamma amino butyric acid these neurotransmitters are termed as classical neurotransmitters 
So hopefully it's clear that what is a neurotransmitter which is used for neurotransmission, all those neurotransmitters which act very fastly in a one million seconds, then it is termed as uh, fast neurotransmitters and while those which act slowly or uh, show the action slowly, these are termed as slow acting neurotransmitters. Now we will see about the effects of neurotransmitters. Yes, the Mm, it will be too long to study and we are having multiple areas where we will study about each uh, uh, neurotransmitter individually. Here we will discuss only the one thing that how our neurotransmitters could communicate or how it uh, take a part in neurotransmission. Right, so keep watching the videos for the next lecture. Thank you so much everyone.